Welcome to the next video of this RxJS tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about the mean operator. So mean operator is operates on the observable which emits the numbers. Okay, so after the uh, source observable it get completes. So the mean operator gets all the value and identify the minimum value and then a minimum value will get produced uh, by this operator. Okay, so this operator is produce the single value. So let's see the marble diagram for this uh, operator on top here our observable which emits the sequence of integer and uh, mean operator will get the all value uh, and then uh, produce the single value which is the minimum value of in the sequence. Okay, so let's see the syntax for this minimum mean function so mean function is generic function we can give the types here and uh, it takes the optional argument called comparer so this comparer is used to compare the two objects if we are uh, working with the objects which is not a number but it contains some fields let's take an example of person person uh, class which having the properties like name age and uh, salary so if you want to compare the list of persons uh, on the basis of age or salary we can use this uh, comparer okay so i am here in the visual studio and uh, our application is running on port 88 so uh, i already import the mean and off function so let's create the source from off function so const source equals to off Let's produce the value 1, 3, 5, 2. Okay, so let's use the pipe, 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 and in that mean. So, mean. So, let's subscribe our source. Source dot subscribe. So, let's log the value on console. So, x goes to console dot log and x okay so let's save it so we can see the minimum value is one from this sequence so let's create an inter interface uh, called person and it's having a two property name and uh, age so so we will create the sequence of uh, the person objects and uh, we compare this and do and find the minimum object on the basis of their age okay so let's create the person interface person and this person interface having two property first is which is string and second is h which is number okay so let's produce the sequence of person objects and i am here i am producing a uh, first object as a name having jack and uh, his age is and second object is john having age 4 third object is hail having age 2 okay so in this three object name hail are having minimum value of age okay so let's give the comparer in the mean function which returns the uh, value 1 or minus 1 1 if it is greater uh, first value is greater and if it is uh, smaller uh, then it returns the minus 1 ok so let's get two objects of person so here x comma y this two object is a uh, first object and second object of person person class ok so I am using here a ternary operation operator. I am using here the ternary operator for comparison. Okay, so return if x dot h is greater than y dot h, then return one. Otherwise, minus one. So let's save it, and we can see the ob, uh, it will uh, this mean object uh, mean for operator. Uh, we can. Uh, and in the output we can see uh, the minimum object from these three objects so here we can see that uh, the name hell and h2 is the minimum object in the list okay so in this way we can provide the uh, comparer function so i hope you learn something new from this video and uh, 
and stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching